Wasn't the prettiest, but it was the first, and so far my favorite win of the year. Uh, we, uh, I thought we did a pretty darn good job in the second half defensively. Uh, need to shoot free throws a little bit better. We need to finish off some plays. We had a chance to put a little more distance between us and them, and quite honestly, I didn't think we did a very good job of, of closing them out. Uh, that being said, you know, the first half, they've got some guys going off, and we switched the momentum on that. Sometimes that's hard to do, to turn off the, the spigot once it's been turned on. Uh, and Rodney Boss brought some juice to the building tonight. There's no question about that. Uh, listen, we won by 10 over a good team on a night where I don't think Tony or Jerron played anywhere near their best. They'd both say so. But before we get too crazy pointing at them, give a little credit to Southern, too. And uh, they did a very good job, particularly in the screen and roll. Uh, got to the point where we were just having more success with our motion stuff, so we just stuck with that. Uh, questions? You mentioned Rodney. He brought the juice. Uh, did you, obviously, you, you know he's a capable defensive player. Did you think he had the impact he did to that degree, anyway, especially in the first half? Yeah, that's why I recruited him. I. Uh, Hey, his length. I mean, his length and his motor. You're, you're gonna. He doesn't do everything technically perfect yet, but he doesn't have to. He's writing in pencil, not pen. If he makes a mistake, he can erase it by just reaching out with his arm. And he, you, you know, you've got a good defender when you're you're eating with them. They drop their fork and they don't have to bend over to pick up the fork. That's a good sign. Uh, something I look for. His. Is Taylor, as he gets older and has to buy suits, is going to love him. A little extra cloth each time he buys a shirt or a suit. Coach mentioned Jerome and Tony not having their best performances tonight. But does that show the promise? I mean, you, you beat Heck team. yeah, absolutely. Essentially. And not only that, we beat a team that does a pretty decent job of applying pressure to you. I think, you know what? I think Jordan Dardis gets a little sick of people saying we only have one point guard on this team. I think he's a really good point guard. And I think he showed that tonight. We needed him at times, and he had no problem. Uh, even down the stretch, you can see the confidence Jerron has in him because he'll let him bring the ball up the court at times. And I'm here to tell you, Jerron just doesn't give that ball away very often. He's, he's got to have your trust, or you got to have his trust. So yeah, I mean, plenty of positives that way. I just felt like we left so much on the table tonight. So it's going to be, you, you can't leave the gym feeling great about it when you feel like you just didn't finish some of the things you, you wanted to finish. If that, again, that being said, I certainly, you, you don't yell at guys to make free throws. You shoot more free throws. And uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. In terms of draw, is he, he walked off the court. Right. You walk back on the court. That's all I know. Uh, there's, there's no x-ray imminent. There's no. He got Doug Taylor landed on his foot. My humble opinion is that wouldn't feel good. So uh, he didn't hesitate coming back. I got the thumbs up. As soon as I got the thumbs up from Monica, I, did, I stopped asking questions. All I didn't know was that he was okay to play. I, we'll worry about the rest later. She gave me the thumbs up, put him back in, and uh, Again, maybe, maybe it looked like we didn't go to him as much because we weren't running as much screen and roll. But I tell you what, he had a spring and a step late there on that drive to the hoop. Uh, we got disjointed, period, by their, by their. Uh, we were trying to draw fouls, and at times, if that whistle doesn't blow, it's a horrible force in the offensive end. And I'll go back and count the number of one pass possessions, but it was far too many. I can tell you that. How encouraging was it to impact the game defensively like you did in the second half, given that was the entire focus of some season? It means I didn't waste a summer. That's good. Uh, you know, I, when, when you're, you can sit around and say you want to get better defensively, and I, I can coach defensively, I can coach offensively, I, I'm fine. That's, that's no problem. But what you really have to have to make that needle move are your best players saying, I want to get better defensively. 
And the amount of minutes that Tony played with, with three fouls, two fouls, I mean, absolute textbook chest ups at times, absolute textbook, a lot of things out of Jerron and Tony. Uh, they've bought into this thing. I think that's really set the tone for the rest of the group. You add in a couple defensive minded kids that came in and joined the program. Now you got, now you got something. And uh, I don't know, I, I can't recall a game last year where kids started going off on us and then we stopped it. I mean, I, I can. I could be wrong, but I pay pretty close attention. You mentioned rebounds earlier. Uh, obviously, you got a rebound in tonight. But would you consider putting in maybe Doug and Tony together? I would consider it, yes. Uh, yeah, I know what you're saying. Right now, we operate better like this. We, you got to look a little bit at what type of rebounds they were getting, too. They had Rebounding becomes more difficult, regardless of who's in there, when they get dribble penetration. Because your rotation, your defensive rotation gets you out of position for a box out. And I thought a lot of the rebounds that they got tonight, there were a lot of long ones. And there were a lot of ones that occurred immediately after a drive where we forced the miss but couldn't rotate back. So certainly the result is an offensive rebound, but the symptom that caused it is at the beginning of the possession when you didn't have your closeout or didn't have your gap. Uh, we're a pretty good rebounding team. Not great, but pretty good. And I know this because of who, you know, what we've done to this point. Uh, Playing them together is an option, and it will be an option that's utilized at some point. But you also really are tying your hands when you put them in together and one of them's in foul trouble because now you lose options. And the one option is and will be putting Jason in there at the five. He can handle himself in there. But, uh, yeah, I, we, we work on it fairly often. Not for huge chunks of time, but it's got to be an alternative. When, when you're coaching, you've got resources A, B, C, and D, and you got to make sure you know how to try to figure out to use each one of them, and you don't you don't rule anything out. I mean, an injury here or there, they might have to play together some more. So, we tried just about everything. I can tell you right now, what we have out there is is better than that right now. But obviously, a huge part of me. Hopes that that's not the case forever. I thought Doug did a great job in there. I didn't think we bogged down at all when he came in. In fact, I thought we, we made some plays. Coach, you mentioned options. Um, obviously, depth was an issue last year, but now how nice was it, especially when Tony had two fouls in the first minute almost? Yeah, yeah, it was very nice. Was, listen, I got a lot of confidence in Doug, and Doug's going to have his days here where he's on the court until he's dragging himself off. But for right now, his role is to be ready in a situation just like that, and he did it. I, you know, I didn't, I didn't get to everybody I wanted to get to tonight in the game. So, I mean, we, we're deeper than we showed him tonight. I mean, Kyrie's battle-tested, and he'll play some this year. No question about it. Didn't get to him tonight. Sorry. Try to get you in next game. And there might be nights where he's a better option than someone else. I really liked... Gavin and our motion based stuff, when we went motion based, Gavin got a lot more minutes because that's what he's really good at. It might not be that way every night. I don't intend to play Jordan 35 minutes every night, but again, I just really felt steady with him out there, especially with Jerron in, in foul trouble at times. At the end of the half, I, I, I screwed up. I should have called timeout after the make. I tried to, but I was a long way away from the Ball. So what I should have done is I should have told Jerron to do it when he was standing right in front of me 15 seconds earlier. But, hey, it's rust for me too, right? I don't, I've got to learn to play these guys through some foul trouble a little bit. How many games last year did Tone completely go into the tank once he sat a lot in the first half? So you got to make your decisions. Are you going to play him up front and just – try to make sure that you're protecting them out of timeouts and things like that? Or are you going to accept a subpar performance the whole night because he doesn't like playing that way? Uh, I think it's a little late for me to change how he views it. 
So maybe we have to put, be a little more. And he, you know, the, the other thing too is that our guys are better at playing without fouling now. I mean, we had that rash of fouls at the beginning of the game. They didn't get in the bonus till the very, very end of the half. So we're better at that now, and I've got to trust that a little bit more now. But that wasn't even your question. I'm sorry. Go ahead. First game of the season at home, and you guys only led for about 56 seconds for the first half, but the team seemed pretty composed. We were, that, we were drafting. It's kind of like race cars. How does that speak in volumes about the team and how they didn't you know, panic right away? Oh, there. we have a lot of belief in ourselves in terms of being able to have a – Spurt. We didn't even have a spurt at any point. There's, it was too disjointed with the, the whistles and the. But we don't think we're ever out of a game. And conversely, I don't think we're ever. I don't think we've ever put a game away. I, I just. I think with this group and the way we play, if. I mean, Tony's Tony's three there. They would have been a real dagger shot, but it's not the percentage play. I don't need Tony Campbell playing chess out there. He's an artist, man, okay? Color outside the numbers a little bit. So I'm gonna accept him taking that shot at times. Now there were, I didn't particularly like Gavin's one on three pull up 17 footer. But at the same time, I liked a lot of what else he was doing. So we try to eliminate that and we'll try to do that in practice and point it out. But boy, we had, we had chances to really cut into him. I, I can promise you this. Halftime was very calm. I, I thought the game was starting to track in our favor. Uh, I only get three really good tantrums a year, or else they lose their effects. So if I use one in the first game, that's a magic bullet, man. You could got to hold on to that thing. Kenny said you guys are one of the deepest teams in the country. What kind of confidence wow. does that give you as a coach? Well, that's a statement. <laughs> Guess I haven't examined every team in the country. I think we're deep. I, I wouldn't go as far as to say deepest team in the country. Um, but it does make me, I don't live in fear of Tony being out for a spurt. I don't live in fear of Jerron being out for a spurt. And I can't say that was always the case last year. I like them out there the entire time because they're fun to watch. But I. As, as this program continues to evolve, as, as we continue to build, yeah, it's harder to get at us with foul trouble because we don't really care who the next guy up, let's go. And I wouldn't say we're exactly there yet. I mean, I think, I think Kenny really likes his teammates, but I think we're probably, we're reasonably deep, deepest team in America, I, not so fast. Yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, I, I, I hate to get into <coughs> who's better than who. I know this. He is uniquely gifted athletically. I got to get him in a 40 time. I, I can't tell you how many times we've been in a transition drill. Rodney gets behind the play, and all of a sudden, you he looks like Roadrunner just flying right by Wile E. Coyote. Just ram. It's, it's ridiculous how quick he is. Uh, laterally terrific. He's got, a, he's got a lot going for him, which is, which is why we, we liked him a lot in the recruiting process. It took a long time to get him, but it was worth the wait. There's no question about that. It, it's funny because usually guys that are that good defensively have a kind of a nasty edge to him. He's the nicest kid in the world. He just is. I mean, he's. Sweet kid, until he defends you. Uh, does today's performance put any more thought into your mind about putting him in the starting lineup? No, not yet. Not yet. He'll, he'll get his day in the sun. He'll start plenty of games here. But right now, I, could, I, I know about next game right now. Next game will stay the same, and then we'll see from there. He's certainly got a chance to earn some things, as do all of our guys. I think I need to be, with this group, I need to be more open to starting different lineups. But that doesn't mean I'll pull the trigger on it. And usually I don't like messing with things after a win. 
You got a question? Yeah. Uh, so against Ryan, it was the Jason Carter story and now it's the Ron Culver story. So uh, all the girls went from calling Jason to calling Rodney. Yeah. That's basically what it amounts to. Yeah. Uh, but what were your thoughts on Jason tonight? Good. He was solid. He was. I, I think his minutes were reduced a little bit because Kenny shot the ball really well. And there's going to be nights that we look different because of how someone's performing. When, you're, when you do have depth, one thing that you don't want to get in the habit of is getting so rigid with your rotations that you take a person right out. I can't, two different times that I had somebody at the score table. Once it was Kenny, once it was Rodney. And I had a guy checking in for him, and I had to change either who they were going in for or just pull, I pulled Jason right back from the table and said, and he goes, I get it. I understand. There's a, you can, you can sub yourself right out of a good run sometimes. And the identity of this team is still an offensive identity. So you don't want to mess with that too much. I really like our defense and how it's coming. Offense is still going to win this group more games than defense. Hopefully we get the thing just right where it's, doesn't matter which one it is by the end of the year. How much have you prepared for San Houston State? I've actually watched a lot. Because it was the first game, and because we wouldn't have any other tape on either Southern or Sam Houston, we are, I walked into, walked into Wednesday knowing about as much as I could know about Southern, I felt, and got right into Sam Houston. And they're good, man, they're good. Uh, Southern was good. Or obviously, we rotate our scouting assignments for assistance. So that's been done since probably a week ago. Uh, putting in finishing touches on now. Hopefully, well, we won't get any more tape on Sam Houston unless it somehow shows up on the internet because they're playing a D2 and they've made a no trade agreement with the D2 school, which tip of the cap. When, when I was at Platteville, Listen to this. When I was at Plava. We had, it was my sophomore year, Rochester College in New York <coughs> made a no trade agreement with everyone they played all year long. We were playing the Division Three National Championship and we had zero tape on them. Did that didn't, go well for you? No, it didn't. It didn't go well. <laughs> I didn't mind as much, but because we did, our scholarship report was really short, but Bo Ryan wasn't real happy. I can promise you that. <laughs> actually led to a change. He didn't like what was happening, and he made a change. They now have to send two tapes in Division Three level. But I say tapes. Now it's all on the internet. It doesn't much matter anymore. Hey, we used to have crude drawings of the other players <laughs> on the cave walls.